Jack Davies joins me here at Radlett. Jack, a really important year for you, a massive milestone reached, your first 11 debut. Congratulations, how was it? Yeah, cheers, thank you. Yeah, it was a good year. Um, I mean, obviously, uh, the year I made both my debuts, obviously a funny one with COVID and everything, but, um, you know, if you told me at the start of the year, um, you know, back when we were in winter training for 2019, you said you'd, you know, get your cap in well, two formats that were available, I'd say, yeah, brilliant. So. Well, that first last debut came against Kent, rain affected game down in Canterbury. You displayed the kind of tenacity that Stuart Law has been calling out for all year from his batters. Tough conditions, ball doing plenty. How tough was that first innings knock? I mean, and do you feel that's really showing the coaching staff what you're all about? Um, yeah, obviously it was a tricky one. Um, you know, going out on a start is always tough at the best of times, and on your first class debut, it's you know not exactly easier. Um, but it was obviously. Nice to go out to bat with Robbie White, who you know is a very close friend of mine, and um, kind of settled me and yeah, made it a bit easier. Um, yeah. Good stuff. Your call up's been a while in the coming. Made your second eleven debut back in 2017. How much have you enjoyed that learning experience, those three years in the twos, and how much has that prepared you for the step up to the first eleven? Yeah, I, th I think the you know twos is great preparation for first team cricket. You know, we've got some of the older guys in the squad. I say older guys, like. Um, Esky's, you know, had a good amount of two cricket, and speaking to him, he said, you know, it really does teach you how to play first uh, first team cricket, and you know, it's just a progression um, naturally into the ranks. Well, your debut came in first class cricket. You obviously, of course, made your debut also in the T20. Um, what's your preferred format, and uh, do you see yourself as someone challenging for the gloves in in both formats? Um, obviously, I always want to keep my, you know, keeping as a another string to my bow, you can say, but. Um, you know, with Simo at the club, he's you know had that spot for a long time. Um, saying which format I prefer, I'm not entirely sure. It's kind of shifted over the years. I would definitely say it's Red Bull, but um, you know the game's changing slightly, and people you know start to prefer Apple cricket. Personally, I've got no no preference, but it's just kind of what you're playing at the moment, isn't it? So it is. You mentioned Simo there. Obviously, he's established himself as the club's keeper, first choice uh, for many years now. How tough is it and how much mental strength do you need knowing that you're kind of fighting essentially for one spot in the side? Or do you see a, do you see a route in through your batting as a, as um, a specialist batter? I wouldn't say it's tough because, um, you know, firstly Simo is unbelievable at his job with the gloves and also um, he's such a good character in the squad that he's always, you know, willing to help me in training and things like that. Um, you know, I certainly see batting as a, an option to get in the squad at the moment because, you know, Simo's got that role. Um, but yeah, it's just something I can keep working at and hopefully progress on, um, you know, once Simo retires. Well, prior to all the excitement of this year, 2019, you appeared with England at the Under-19 World Cup down under in New Zealand. How was that experience? You had a couple of half centuries over there. You must have enjoyed it. Yeah, obviously, that was great fun. We were in um, Queenstown basically the whole time, which is an amazing place. Um, it was a, you know, great group of lads and really talented. There's some great cricketers and obviously all jacks. You got the uh, PCA. MVP for the T20s this year, and obviously Tom Banton in there. So it's a shame we couldn't go further in the in the tournament, but yeah, it was great fun while we were out there. How satisfying this year for you to make your debut alongside um, some other youngsters? Obviously, Tills made his debut this yeah. year. You mentioned Robbie earlier, another youngster, obviously made his debut prior to this year. But it's been a big year for the young kids. Yeah, it's been huge. Obviously, with no um, with no overseas coming over. Um, well, obviously Miguel was already here, but. Um, especially in the T20s as well. It was it was always going to be a big year for the youngsters and the depth was going to be tested. You know, we never knew what was going to happen with track and tracing and stuff like that. And obviously, um, you know, part of the reason I made my debut is because um, Gubbo dropped out late because of the, you know, he got traced. Um, but yeah, it was brilliant to make my debut alongside, you know, the other youngsters in the squad. Obviously, um, Max was there as well and I live with Max and um, yeah, it was great. He, you know, he was calling me up when I was, because I got called up in the morning, in fact. And Max called me three times in the car just to make sure I was coming the right way. Um, but, you know, it's great fun. Always good to have your mates behind you. You mentioned, yeah. obviously, what a strange year it's been. How's it been playing behind closed doors? I mean, normally you'd be playing T20 in front of packed crowds. You'd be playing in front of a few thousand in a championship game. It must have been pretty odd. Yeah, it was bizarre. Um, I kind of developed into a boundary fielder, especially the back end of the T20s. Um, and it was strange when the ball gets hit into the stands chasing it. Um, but yeah, it's especially not the easiest finding it when it went quite far sometimes. But um, obviously, you know, everyone wants to get back into position of playing um, with crowds. Um, you know, this summer it wasn't possible. Last summer, sorry, it wasn't possible. And we all knew that we had to, you know, make do with what it was. And I thought we did a great job of it. 
couldn't agree more. So a month off, you're now back in winter training. How does that look for you and what have you got in store? Um, so winter training um, is, you know, quite monotonous as it is with lots of running and even more so with COVID times, but it's kind of these hard yards you have to put in to, you know, earn a spot in the summer and things like that. Um, you know, no one's come back to overweight or unfit at the moment, so the squad's in pretty good stead and we're looking forward to get going. Good stuff. And you've got that monkey off your back of your first class debut and your T20 debut. What do you see as your challenges that lay ahead and what are your ambitions? Um, my ambition is to obviously cement a spot in the first team, um, regardless of what format or how it comes. Um, it's just kind of earning that and yeah, making sure that I hold that spot for years to come. Good stuff. Well, Jack, thanks for your time today. Congratulations on your debuts this summer. Keep working hard over the winter and uh, good luck in the coming year. Perfect.